Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom. This video is going to show you a little bit about setting up your settings tab, uh, especially with your, your keyword information. So I'm currently in the setup option here and I'm going to the settings tab. And the first thing that we're going to focus on is the site name. Uh, the site name is about three to four words. Normally is your studio name or, or your name. Um, it's, it's going to be associated with your business. This is the thing that the search engines are going to see as the title uh, of your website. So for this purpose, I just put in Anthony Photography Studio. Um, but you can see it's about three words and uh, it's not something that you have to overthink. The second thing you're going to want to look at is the browser title. Uh, the browser title is going to be formatted like this. It's going to be it's going to be a keyword. So I'm going to pick this fake keyword that I used here. Um, but you, from your keyword strategy, it's probably going to be your most important keyword. And then there's a dash, and then there is this little funny looking thing here that says page name. And what that means is that when somebody is looking at the browser title, they're going to see the keyword first, and then it's going to pull in the page name that they're actually looking at. So this is a, a formatting. Uh, to make sure that we get that page name to come in there as well. So again, you're going to put in your keyword or your keyword phrase, your dash, and then you'll leave this uh, just like it is, page name. Uh, the next thing is the meta tag description. Uh, the meta tag description is about 250 characters. I wrote this fake one, not necessarily as a format for how you should write yours, uh, but just wanted to show you what just under 250 characters looks like. It's a really short paragraph. It's supposed to be written uh, as if somebody is going to read it. You don't want to just cram a bunch of keywords in there, which is called keyword stuffing. Uh, you want to write this as if somebody's going to read it and put some important information in there. And that's kind of a little bit of marketing speak. Um, but what I did was I wrote a little under 250 characters and I, and I put all my fake keywords in there that I have from down here. Um, so I, I've managed to, to add them all in there in a way that um, is not keyword stuffing. So um, you're going to want to go ahead and write that description and put it in that location there. And then you have your meta tag keyword. So after you've done your, your keyword strategy and you know what keyword you're going after, uh, just simply come in here and take the words and comma separate them. So I've picked a couple locations here and it's Tempe, comma, Sedona, comma, Arizona. And you'll notice that I'm not doing Tempe space uh, and then Sedona. It's Tempe, comma, and Sedona with no space. It's called comma separated. So um, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to put keywords that you don't need in here. Uh, make sure that you, that you have a good strong keyword strategy and then uh, you can get them in there. And then if you like, there is um, a site, uh, site footer text and this is a good place for a copyright 2013 um, or, or whatever year it is and, and the name of your studio. Um, but all this information here is basically the, the areas that you have for your SEO keywords and, and your text. A lot of people believe that the uh, meta tag keywords really don't do much anymore. Um, at this point, it's somewhat just of an exercise to get you guys thinking and putting in keywords and stuff. So go ahead and fill that out. Uh, the description isn't super important, but um, I would definitely fill it out and put it in there. It gets you in the mode of writing a short paragraph with your keywords and kind of gets you in the idea of, of writing good copy for your site. Um, it's also seen by search engines. Um, it's also displayed by search engines. So it's something definitely good to write. So I would put that in. Uh, the browser title is important. Search engines are definitely going to look at that and the site name as well. So uh, these are the basics for this setting area and what to do in the setting area. So I hope that was informative. If you have any more questions or you're having any issues, please contact us at support.intothedarkroom.com. Thanks so much.